morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Father Gunnell here with you with our daily reflection. Today, I just want to spend a few minutes talking about this idea of tolerance. And it's a word and a concept that gets thrown out a lot in our world today. And I just want to, again, spend a few minutes thinking about how we're meant to live this out as Catholics. How does that play out for us? How are we meant to understand that? And what got me thinking about this is actually the homilies from the last couple days. Father Claydar did a great job yesterday. Monsignor did a great job today. So take a listen to those if you can. But they were both talking about the truths of our faith and what we believe and how we're meant to hold those things and how we're meant to live those things out and preach those things. Which again, raises this idea of tolerance. Do those two ideas fit together? Can we preach our faith and still be tolerant at the same time? How does that work? And so we start with this question, am I supposed to be tolerant as a Catholic? And in the one sense, the answer is yes. Praise God that we live in the United States of America where we enjoy lots of freedoms. We enjoy the freedom of religion, freedom of speech, all of these incredible things that we should be very thankful for and not take for granted. Um, and so with that in mind, we say, yes, we're all meant to live with each other in the way that we want. We're meant to believe as we want, worship as we want, um, act as we want within reason. That's why we have laws, reasonable laws that keep us uh, within certain bounds. You know, we can't go out and commit crimes all of the time or something like that. So again, in that sense, yes, we're meant to be tolerant. In other words, we can't force people to believe and live as we believe and live as Catholics. We can't force our faith on other people, but rather people should have the freedom to live and act and believe uh, as they want to. However, if we think about tolerance in the sense that I think it's often used today, which is we have to just be okay with everything that everyone else is doing and saying and believing, and we have to say that that is okay, those things are okay, well, in that sense, no, we're not called to be tolerant. We don't get to participate as Catholics in this idea of a moral relativism, where we just look out um, to everybody else and everything that everyone's doing and saying and believing and saying, sure, that's all okay. You believe what you want to believe. I'll believe what I want to believe. We're all okay. Everything's going to be fine. That's not how it works. That's not a thing for us as Catholics because we understand how the truth works. Jesus Christ has given us the truths of our faith. Of our faith. He's given us the truth on morals and how we're meant to act in the world. He's given us the church to continually guide us throughout the ages so that we have the proper understanding of all of these things. And so we as Catholics understand that we know the truth of Jesus Christ, we know the gospel message, and we're meant to live that out. We're meant to go out and preach that. We're meant to go out and be great witnesses to the love of Jesus Christ in the world. We think about the very last chapter of the Gospel of Matthew when Jesus Christ sends out his apostles. That's the last thing he does. He doesn't just say, all right, guys, I've given you the gospel. Live it out yourselves and keep it to yourselves. No, he says, go out, baptize all nations. Um, tell them everything that I have commanded you. And that's our call as well, is that we meant, we're meant to, again, live out this truth and be witness to the truth of Jesus Christ and the gospel message in the world, um, to, to preach that, to get rid of the lies that are in the world and to preach the truth. And you might be saying, okay, Father, I kind of get that, but doesn't that mean that we're being judgmental? Aren't we judging other people by saying that we have the truth and they don't? And this is kind of a tough question because we understand that Jesus doesn't want us to judge other people, right? But at the same time, we know that it is okay to really evaluate and judge the actions and words and ideas of other people. Uh, we have to do those things. And so, for example, if there's a pro-choice politician out there, are we meant to just say, yeah, that person's okay, what they're doing is okay, I'm going to be tolerant of that? The answer, of course, is no. We can truly say that abortion is evil. 
that person promoting the pro-choice movement is doing something wrong. That's a bad idea. And we have to stand up against that. We can't support that person. We have to do our best to promote the pro-life cause. All of those things. And so in that moment, we can't say that person is evil. We can't judge that person's soul. We can't say that that person is going to hell or something like that. That's the difference there. We can say that what they're doing and what they're saying, what they're promoting, evil, bad. We don't want to support that. But we love the person. We know that that person is a son and daughter, son or daughter of, of God the Father. And we're meant to love them. We're meant to pray for them. We're meant to beseech the Lord's mercy upon them. That's the difference there. We judge the action, but not the, the person. We judge the sin, but not the sinner. And that's totally okay. That's what we're called to do. Because when we, when we recognize that there are evil actions and ideas and words being said and promoted, we're meant to stand up against them. That's what the saints did. That's what the martyrs did, especially. That's what that word martyr means, is being a witness to Jesus Christ and not simply sitting back and saying, I'm okay, you're okay, it's all okay. No, we're not given a spirit of cowardice. We're not given a spirit of being timid. We're given a spirit of courage and a spirit of being able to go out and preach the gospel message. And so, brothers and sisters, we're not meant to be tolerant of everything. We're meant to stand up for the truth. We're meant to stand up and witness to the love of Jesus Christ. We're meant to go out and boldly proclaim Jesus Christ to the whole world and to do it with love in our hearts. So let's continue uh, working on our relationship with Jesus Christ every day in our prayer and the scriptures. Let's continue learning about our faith, whether it's from books or podcasts or YouTube videos or whatever it might be. Keep learning about our faith keep growing in that understanding of what we believe and how to preach it, how to teach it, how to defend it, all of those things. We're meant to be able to do that and keep praying to the Holy Spirit. If you find yourself in one of those difficult conversations, difficult situations, whatever it might be, pray to the Holy Spirit in that moment. Ask for the words to say, to be able to witness to the love of Jesus Christ. And keep praying, lastly, uh, for the quick return of the sacraments of the Mass especially. Of course, we've been celebrating Mass every day here at the parish still, but of course, you can't be here with us. So we want you to be back. We know that you want to be back, and please keep praying for that. So we're moving in the right direction. We're starting slow. We're getting things going, but we need more time, you know, and we need uh, to keep building up to that. So keep asking the Lord's mercy upon us. Keep asking the Lord to let us get back to Mass altogether and to be able to celebrate that great sacrament of the Eucharist uh, together once again. All right, so thanks everybody. Have a great day and God bless. We'll see you soon.